Hi Scott himself here and we're going to have a look at an absolutely amazing ship. Now he was so excited to show me this that he sent me a message on Steam all in capital letters and I, I couldn't miss the opportunity to see one of his beautiful little designs here. Now let's have a look on the exterior first. So do you want to talk us through the weapons from top to bottom? Uh, from the top we have the good old scattergun. Oh scatterguns. Mm -hmm. Oh very nice. Have a good one of them. They're all with a good laugh. Uh, then hidden in kind of tucked in this little wing bit mm -hmm. is two uh, disruptors. Disruptors. So we got like the laser beams. Yep, I think they're the defiant ones. The in the middle, 120 meter millimeter cannon. Oh, no, that's gonna pack some punch. It destroys everything. <laughs> and tucked nice, I think, really nicely in the side is rocket pods. Wow, this this thing's packing some power, but it is a large ship as well. And for thrusters, it looks like we've got some um, Sage Industrial, and we've got some quite unique looking landing gears as well. Really cool yeah. little shape. And you managed to fit quite a lot inside, so let's head around the back and go yeah. in. Now, th now, by far, this is this is one of the most amazing parts, I think, of this ship. It, it, yeah. it is so cool. This made me smile. This is, this is the first actual thing I started building was the back before I even did the front. No, I, I love uh, small ships. with Small ships with a big interior are just amazing. Yeah. We have the retracting, the loading ramp. So there we go. So it's yeah, it's more of a ramp shape than a staircase, isn't it? Yeah, they're all close enough that you can just slide up. Right, let's see if I can fit in here. Yep. And there we go. You should have to, yep. maybe you don't have to activate the ship's inbuilt gravity systems. Yep, I'll get the gravity switched on. So very nice. It's, it's like it's like a little home in here. Yep. And we'll just bring that ramp up and lock it. No, oh, there, there we, we go. go. So the button on the left is to bring it up, and the button on the right locks it in place for transport. Yeah. Then. Just to try and stop a little bit of the mm. glitching. Yeah, we got a little storage crate here. What we got through? The, what we got through these windows here? Uh, on this side of the right, oh. we've got the two, two reactors, and uh, on the left we have a storage crate and another reactor. <laughs> and these are all uh, connected together, so they're all very good, very cool. The these 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 little reactors will look so cool though. You know, if they're smoking or damaged, and you see all the green fog coming out against the window, and oh, yeah, <laughs> look, that's so they cool. Do look good. I just don't know why I put the windows in before, just, ah, let's see the mechanics. It's oh. not hidden behind walls. Yeah, exactly. It's nice to have to see some of the internal wiring as well. So what is behind these interesting looking doors? Oh, they are okay. doors, aren't they? Yep. Because, uh, as against the idea of the ships, people are going to be on it for a while. It's not a small fight. You're not going to get off at a bigger ship. Mm -hmm. On the right, we have... Oh, it looks, it looks like a little bed. That's all cool. Yep, a little sleepy bed. Oh, and, and right you've got you've got a window too. Little port hole so you can see stars. <laughs> I'll step out of there. I want to have a look. I want to go. And and there's and there's no there's no way of closing this door from inside. Is there? No, no. Really. <laughs> so you've got a little window Something you can look like out. Lock you in. It could be a little prison as well. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. So you can just stare out at the stars. And let's get out of here. Step out of the way so I don't fly out the yep. ship. Um, All right, yep. there we go. And what um, we got behind this other door? Behind this door again for a long time in space. My door. Necessary requirement. There we go. So what is the in here? Space ball. <laughs> the space. <laughs> oh, this is a great. With a button to close it from the inside. Oh, really good. But you can't close it from being on the throne at the. Oh, you'll have to close yeah. it for me. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, but there's a, there's a window as well up here. Yeah, it's not for use when you're in a port. Yeah, you'd be in a port. Some guys are staring through it. You just. Oh, what the hell are you doing up there? Like, let me out of here. I feel trapped on the toilet. <laughs> Right, uh, T, hop out of there. Yep. Okay, we better uh, close it. the space blog because I've I've left yep. the right mess in there. Yep. We'll it's not, the wall's off. not white anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You, let's hop in and here and give it a little fly. I'm gonna sit in the co-pilot. Co-pilot. So you've got this little cockpit. Maybe a few buttons need to be placed in the middle. Some crazy ones. Yep. So we've got landing gear. We can just retract them. Mm-hmm. Front and, and back, all into the hull really smoothly as well. They hide that, they're all nice and tucked in. They've mm. got all the weapons, you know, we've got the... Ooh, we've got the phasers, disrupt disruptors. Phasers. Uh, we've got the scatter guns. Oh, very nice. I love them, my favourite. The spike mounted rockets, which <laughs> I love because they're just tucked in neatly. Mm. And reloading. And the 120mm cannon. Oh, that, that thing, it shakes the whole ship, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's got recoil. Oh, Sadly, let's... This design with the ramp, you cannot go too fast. Yeah, just set it up a certain speed and then just let it drift. Yeah, with a Z or something. There yep. you go. Yeah, that's the problem though, because you've got all that speed in them sage thrusters, but the ramp's just a little bit too much. I mean, pistons and rotors are always a problem, but I mean, we're still in early stages, aren't we, of development? But it is a lovely ship. It's got an absolutely beautiful one. What made you go with the red and white though? 
the paint scheme. No, no, just going through. I've always liked schemes that just work in red and white. Actually, yeah. once works. It's very, it's very spacey. The red and white. It feel it feels very cool. I can just imagine lo just docking and unloading out the back of there. I mean, would you say this is a one-man ship or two though? Two it's, probably. Mm, like one, one sleeps, one flies. So I think. Yeah. <laughs> Fire them big guns! Fire the big guns! Oh, you want to see the big guns? Yeah. Okay, we'll just line up on that brick, the platform we'll run a second ago. Okay. Oh my god, you see the hole! Fire one at the ship! Fire one at the ship! Fire one at the ship! Oh, my first. Little just stuff. do it! Just do it! Oh, this is going to be good. Uh, oh god, I can barely see the red dot, but <laughs> we're a little closer. You don't want to miss, make yourself look bad. Yeah, okay, oh, there we go. Bye bye! <laughs> Oh, I didn't. Oh, it didn't do that much. It did, maybe it went. Oh, maybe it just a hole it went straight went through. Right through. Mm. Yeah, it just went through because I just found again to the cop. Very right good. Now. Bring bring us in for a dock on the platform again. If the oh, if we can get on the platform. If we can get to the platform. Yeah. Oh. All right, spin us around. Give us a Q R and E, and then do, oh, do, 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 do. coming on the dark side, upside yeah. down. <laughs> that hole is big, especially for a small yeah, ship these cannon. Cannons are a little ridiculous. Uh, let's see. I'll get my head back up. Let's get the landing gears back down because it's. Oh, may I do the landing gears? Which button's the landing gears? Oh, oh no, you've already done them. <laughs> the in and out. Uh, so, so one and two. Oh, so the back ones are on two. So bring it yeah, in. Yeah, it's because they're different heights. It just was been a little Very glitchy, cool. so I just put them on different. Oh, and you've got the doors and everything on here as well. I take it. Yeah, the doors are nine. I think N on yours. Nine. Yeah, nine. What's eight? Uh, eight might be the. Oh, lock the lock. Okay. I'd put the lock just so you can. If you were the guy in charge and you find you'd want to be able to lock the back door, stop you coming in. Mm, definitely. Yeah, you don't want the buttons being useless. Right, okay, do you want me to lock it or are you doing it? And seven. There we go. And if we hit the, the uh, gate to come down with the nine. I think the oh, I think lock we're locked. might be on. Let's just take that off. There we there go. There we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. Thank you for this test flight, Scott. It was yep. very nice seeing this ship. Only problem is, Dumbo got a name for it. Oh yeah, that's 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 a good point. We'll have to see if anyone out there has a name for this little thing. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and make sure you go and check out Scott's channel as well. He does a bit of space engineers, and Hello. I'll see you next time.